What's up guys? My name is Dr. Kazraz, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild with my face. Last time in Breath of the Wild, we were just wandering around the Tabantha region. We also got the Tabantha Tower and I, these scared me, sorry. They uh they won't attack us because we got the Majora's mask. But I just uh I'm not I ended off in a weird Well I didn't end off here, but I really wanted a sled. Cause sledding's pretty fun. Um Sorry if this is being weird and bright. There was just a rare beetle right there. Oh, no. That's the blood moon. I don't think we ever encountered this yet. Well, I mean, I did, but I don't think I, I ever recorded it. Oh, there's the stable. I was trying to make my way to the stable. Making my way to the stable. Walking slow. Get in there. I'm a hoe, bro. I almost said something else. I didn't mean to say that. But I didn't, but I didn't say it. The blood moon rises once again. <laughs> I like the red on my face. I um, I'm wearing a green, the green link hat because Kid Dizzy told me to, so I decided to do that. My nose is probably longer than the hat itself, and I'm not wearing my Casco shirt. As you can see, it's in the background. I'm wearing my Thanos hoodie. Awesome, right? Alright, we're gonna stick to this, though. Uh, there's cast. Hmm. That area definitely looks like a sledding area. Alright, but, uh, last time I didn't get to show this. Not this. We're gonna do some of the amiibos. Okay, I am recording this time. <laughs> Making sure. Uh, we need to go over to that area, because that's where I said we were gonna go. And that's what we're gonna do. But first, we're gonna use the Link amiibo. Because that would be really cool if it works. Here we go. This should be a costume. Ooh, hydro melons. We never got those before yet. I should take pictures of all this stuff, actually. Because we do need it. Volt fruit. Weird, even though it's dragon fruit. Oh, well, Nintendo. Do what you want to do. I don't know why, but they want us to get a picture of a treasure chest. We gotta get pictures of everything. This is Legend of Zelda Snap. Snap. Okay, we can't get it. Uh, some items don't make sense. You get pictures of some shit, like a treasure chest, but some items don't need it. Bomb arrows, wow. Awesome. Well, let's see what Zelda will give us, since, you know, Zelda is probably just as useless. Link did give us Epona, and I will show you Epona in a second. She's cool. Epona's awesome. She gives you max stats, which is wicked good. Best horse in the game, by far. And... Uh, oh, nothing good. I was hoping for the Bow of Light, but I doubt we'll ever see it. We'll probably get the last, the end, uh, the end game item, the Bow of Light, before we ever get the one we're supposed to get. Which is lame. Alright, let's get Epona. So yeah, this is Sinnoh. I decided to get uh, Sinnoh off before I got Epona. But thank God, even though Epona's taken out, we get her back. I'm pretty sure she was not that far away, actually, because I already used her. There you go. Thanks for choosing the horsey. All right, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yay, this is Epona, the horse of legend. This is Link's horse. This is what you get for using Link Amiibo. Really cool. I would suggest getting a Link Amiibo. I'm pretty sure if you get this one in the Breath of the Wild. Link Amiibo. Link Amiibo. Epona, not Amiibo. Epona stopping. Look at that. Another bird person. Let's talk to them real quick. Good evening. Just saying. Did you see something? Oh, need something? Who are you? I'm just saying of the Rito. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Tatori. Where the men of fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. I mean, literally on my way, but. Alright, I guess so. We're gonna head to the village. Uh. What that guy does say, I'm pretty sure he skipped it. I'm pretty sure he did say it, and I didn't skip it. He'll say, uh, if you go too fast on your, on your horse, I don't know why it froze, it could, uh, you know, be hard to turn, and I did a perfect turn right there. Speaking of turns and drifting, I was, uh, playing Mario Kart earlier with, uh, with Fel and, uh, Kairos, and it was pretty fun. We were also testing out some of our voice acting. Skills, whole, what the hell? 
Is it gonna attack me? That thing's awesome. That's awesome. Really cool. Sorry if my light's really bright. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. It's in the same position as it was before. But that's awesome. That's sick. Look at that rib cage. This is definitely the first place you should always come to. I think this one's really cool. I'm gonna go to all the ones I like in order. I really should, you know, you should really go to Zora's Domain first, since that one, that one has a better power-up, but this power-up is, you know, more used. I guess they're all used in a certain way, you know, if you're good enough. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go to the uh, Zora's Domain after. Rito Village. The next village we discovered, and this is part nine. What? Where the hell is that? Oh, I was like, what the hell? Does it have an, an invisible item? Like, I know Skyrim had invisible chests. That's so weird. I want to get Skyrim, though, too. Listen to that music. That's awesome. <sighs> What's wrong, guy? Hey, evening. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. I got shocked. So, have you seen it? Divine Beast Va Meadow? Yeah, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Hmm, she has the last name Fison. We met a bunch of people with their last name Son. Maybe they'll be important to us. Welcome. Ooh, is this a shop? Maybe this is her mom. Only Stalkoblins have reason to be up this late, Traveler. This is Swallow's Roost, Rito Village, Premier, and only Inn. Oh, it's an Inn. Uh, we're not going to stay at the end. I really like this place at night. This is like a 3D... What's it called? Starbound. I like Starbound. I was trying to play that for a bit in my channel, but I didn't really get far. Open beds here. Oh, this guy's just trying to promote. We need to go. I'm good, so thank you, though. They were pretty cool, actually. I don't find myself spending that much time here, though. Probably. Ooh, I'm taking these. We're going to have to spend our money. We're not going to get um, our house anytime soon. So let's just, you know, we're adventurers. We need to buy stuff. You know, we need to survive out there. We have to fight, so we got to buy some ammo. And I suck at aim, so I need to buy a lot of it. Um, Sorry, I got to get out of the way. Rare mushroom that grows on hot climates imbued with the power of heat that can be used to cook dishes that will allow you to endure the bitter cold. Sorry, my tripod's in the middle of the way. It's also in the middle of the way for you guys. You might not be able to see it. Maybe if I wasn't lazy, I moved it to the left so you guys could see. Just, just sometimes. Not all the time. Just sometimes. I'll take them all. But yeah, uh, I totally dropped it. I was uh, playing uh, Mario Kart with Fel and... Kairos, not at the same time, but definitely the better person. Definitely the better racer in Mario Kart. I mean, not the better person. They're both equally as great. I'm kidding. No, they definitely are. Uh, I'm better than Kairos, though. Kairos, if you're watching, I'm better than you. He knows what I mean. But yeah, though, it was fun. And we also practicing our vo our voice acting too, because we have a. They have a. Oh, this is a close. They have a uh, voice changing thing, which is really cool. Oh my god. We need these to survive in the cold. So we're going to have to get this outfit. So let's see what we could sell. But yeah, uh, the voice acting is coming out really cool, actually. And uh, we're getting a bunch of new voice actors. If any of you guys are interested, comment down below and uh, you could be a voice actor in our show if you want to. Possibly if you're good enough. Only if you're good enough. Shit, I didn't mean to sell that rock salt. Kind of wish you could buy it back. Shit. And I didn't mean to just mention this last episode, but we got this thing right here. The Chilfin Trout, which is something I didn't notice I got. when I, I thought it was like a tentacle from an Octorok. Hopefully I have enough to buy this suit. Because that will be really helpful. I might switch up my hats in different episodes. Just like... I will in this game. Because uh, we need these clothes in order to survive. Well, not right now, but we will. No, no, no. 
We need the clothes that matter the most, like this. These are more important. Will I have enough? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna buy this too. We'll buy the headgear some other day. Sometime, but not anytime soon. There we gotta there we go, gotta dress appropriately. I like how that thing just flew up perfectly up the stairs. What's this? Oh, this is a cooking pot. Um, if I have eggs, I wanna make something real quick. Shoot, I don't. Okay, whatever. Um Let's go up to the top because we gotta try to get you know, settle their problems. We're the hero. After all, we gotta go help these guys out. Oh, these are jars. Oh. Lame. But I love smashing jars. Oop, there's the shrine. Hopefully it's not easy, though. Nothing too hard. But who am I kidding, though? An easy shrine? Bleh. I like the fighting ones, though. The fighting ones are way better. And... The day I'm recording this is actually on my birthday. So I am now 21 years old. And boy, I did not expect to make it this far, honestly. Well, I mean, you know, figured the world was going to end in 2012. Didn't. Thank God for that. But, or a zombie apocalypse. Didn't happen yet. Yet. Hopefully it doesn't soon. But yeah, um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a video of getting drunk and then uh, recording some Breath of the Wild, but I don't know. I don't really like drinking. I don't. I don't know. Hate me if you want to. I don't know. I prefer to prefer to do other stuff. Not not hardcore stuff, but you know. What do I do here? What do I do? Okay, let's look at what we gotta do. What does this do? Oh, okay, okay. We gotta get all these to move, I guess. This is like the the wind puzzles they could have used in um what that game called? Ocarina of Time. Cause this is a pretty cool idea, actually. Oh no, I like uh, Twilight Princesses though. I really love Twilight Princess. Actually, I'm gonna gonna play that eventually on my channel. But I want to be Ocarina of t uh, Time first, and then uh, Link's Awakening. Because I don't want to start a bunch of games on my channel and not finish them. Like, you know, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Minish Cap, Link's to the Past. Oh, I know what to do. And then, go this way. I need, yeah, I need to finish a bunch of games on my channel. <laughs> this is just the odd one out. Is it? Alright, I thought I was, like, staring at the camera. I wasn't even staring at the camera. That's scary. This is scary. I hate looking in the mirror in the middle of the night. I would never. I honestly am really superstitious where I don't want a mirror in my room. It's just scary. I would put like a cover of, over it or something every night before I go to bed. I don't want no demons walking in and taking me into it. That's scary shit. And also, apologize, my hair looks stupid. I had to have it some way in this hat, and it kind of looks weird. I have a weird flip thing. But trust me, my hair isn't weird. It looks weird, but it's not. Wow, I didn't even skip that. Usually I do. Probably because I was talking right now. Oh, that one wasn't that hard, actually. I actually really like that. But, you know what? We're actually doing pretty good, actually. I really need to get more amiibos. I want to get the Wolf Link amiibo for Twilight Princess HD. I think I have that. My friend hacked my Wii U. He also hacked my 3DS, too. Because the online service is dead for it, you know? That's, that's when I decided to hack it. Well... I guess the 3DS is still a thing. Don't worry. The video's not ending off. But look at that. You see that area up there? That is the only area in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild where we cannot go, which kind of sucks. But we can go up there. And is that a Korok puzzle? You gotta be kidding me. Jesus. Alright, so now that we got that saved... We need to go look for the only guy that's giving a quest. Ow! Hey, my, my hair kind of looks like his. Oh, welcome. What's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Well, fuck you then, ass. 
A swallow bow. This is bow is favorite among the Ritos. Oh, shit. Look at a baby! A baby Rito! What's a shitty weapon I have? This one right here. Hey! I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it. Not like I can use it in my condition. Look at the baby! Oh my god! Aren't you going to say good morning to me? Uh, yeah. I'm not ready to say good morning yet. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I just really thought you were cute. And worth talking to. And what's you? What's your deal? Maybe we already talked to you. Huh. Probably did. Uh, let's just climb to the top. Actually, no. We didn't even get here yet. Yeah, let's climb to the top. Because we need to go find a white Rito. I think. Whoa! You look cool. You're an owl. A uh, visitor. Welcome to... Oh. Oh, that object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me. Where are my manners? I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Shika slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, that it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master of Ali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Meadow. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion, descendant, if you listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. Okay, it's not like we have anything better to do. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with v Divine Beast Far Meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your own will. His voice turned into King Hyrule's voice for some reason. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Tiber and Hoth tried to confront Va Mado, but it did not go well, and Hoth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear now he plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tiba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow. Well, we gotta go find him. Ooh, he's not that far away. Oh, I thought that was him. Oh, right here. Oh, you're the white Rito. Wait, you're a person. Morning, morning. Whoa, I just realized that you're a Hylian. You're just wandering around Hyrule trying to find yourself. Yes, I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. In Gerudo Town, they got jewelry to buy Zora's Domain. Oh, to buy. Zora's Domain is always a hoot with all the weird spiritual fish people. Here, I just want to go home already. Oh, really? Give me a break already. can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. Oh, you're a girl. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he'd better bring me a baked apple. Well, I guess we're going to help this guy's relationship and bring him her break a baked apple. What an asshole, though. This guy was bringing her out on her honeymoon, and she's being ungrateful. Man, what a jerk. Gold digger right there. Um, where's that cooking area? Oh, right over there. Probably thought that was cool, right? Let's catch on fire. Probably not. Alright, we gotta do the fire ourselves. I really like the easy side quest, honestly, though. I really like... You know, this area, actually. I'm trying to be quiet a lot because I want you to hear this uh, music. I honestly thought Breath of the Wild lacked a soundtrack. It uh, lacks an overworld soundtrack, but not the soundtrack soundtrack. But look at these little babies. The little baby chicks. Such cuties. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> I know that smell. You got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sort of thing. You serious? Cheers! Just hold out your hand. Ooh, we got money from her. Now if I can only get my husband to cook me a baked apple every once in a while. I've got a second stomach and a hollow leg for baked apples. 
Bring me as many as you possibly can. Wait, can we really do that? Wait, can we bring her baked apples? Hey. Ooh, we get more rupees from her. Okay. All right. That's where we can farm um, our rupees. But we need to go find that guy. And he's down here. So let's just circle around. Okay, so I guess he lives right next door. To his humble abode. Are you it? You're definitely not it. My instruction. Sounds like you intend to help my husband. Oh, okay. Fight in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now. Beyond telling you where my husband is. Where'd he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's a John Lake Pass at the base of the Hebrew Mountains. It's a place... Okay, yep. I know where that is. Look at her hair, though. It's so pretty. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's straight shot down to the... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the Majora's Mask. That's cool. That looks so familiar. Should have took the mask off so you could see his reaction. <laughs> Just looks scary. Alright. Let's enjoy this cutscene. I'm gonna disappear. I didn't even disappear. I'm still here. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered Cocky motherfucker. a masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now, this is a flashback and they lost. Explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Fuck you! And despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. Okay, screw you, guy. It's just... I'm alive, you're dead. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Jeez, this guy's a jerk. Why you gotta be such a dickhead, Ravioli? Good luck sealing the darkness. That's sad. Why do they always get a bully Link and shit? That's so mean. No wonder why Link's mute in this game. <gasps> the, he got control. Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay, well... God, of course. Well... Um... I think we're going to end it off right here. This is a good stopping point. Next time in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to be going to the flight range and finding the Rito Tiba to hopefully get up to Divine Beast Vine and Meadow and take on that dungeon. It should be short, so that should be the whole part right next episode. Uh, can I help you, man? If you want to be a part of the outro, too. But you know what? If you guys did like this and you want to see more videos by me, why not hit that like button and subscribe to see more Breath of the Wild videos next time? Well, I already told you. I filled you in. Hopefully I can see you guys next time. And hopefully you guys can see me next time. We'll stop the cringe and just, you know, end it off now. I just wanted to listen to this music. Bye!